Hello everyone, this is Nobstar. This year, 2023, we are commemorating a decade since the launch of the Satina DS2 chronograph press drive. In my mind, the most accomplished and fulfilling racing chronograph ever made. I mean, it was first introduced on Basel World in March 2013 and made ava available in, in the shops in August 2013. And already back in 2013, uh, Ariel Adams from the Block to Watch tried to showcase this watch to his viewers, uh, showing how magnificent a piece this is. And in my mind, this is the world's best racing chronograph ever made. And I'm not trying to compare it with the more posh models, or more trophy-minded uh, models such as the Omega, C Ma uh, Omega Speedmaster or the Rolex uh, Day Daytona, um, which, let's be honest, are not uh, as efficient uh, instruments for measurement of time as a quartz model. But um, in my mind, this is the world's best chronograph ever made. And the reason for this being the, um, the a hundred of a second hand combined with the uh, 12 hour subdial. Now, a decade later, you won't find many racing chronograph offering such features. Now, on top of that, you have a thermal compensated movement, 100 meter water re resistance, date at the uh, sixth position, exactly where you want it, and uh, horizontally arranged subdials. The perfect outline. Uh, layout for a racing chronograph. This particular model is from, uh, this particular two-tone model is from 2015. It was launched in or introduced in 2015 together with a uh, silver dial leather band version. Let me just start Start the hundred of a second hand here, and then you will find that it will spin around the dial for the next minute. And after a minute has passed, it will stop, and the uh, second hand will continue. Um, but this is, in my mind, the most quintessential, most accomplished racing chronograph ever made. And this is all due to the fact that this is what you want to wear if you want a piece in motorsports that is able to measure time that accurately. And even though Ariel Adams tried to showcase the watch for, to his viewers in back in, in March 2013, it really didn't find that much interests. Uh, it didn't get that much attention among among most uh, watch uh, aficionados because back then the, the normal perception of a perfect racing chronograph was that it should be mechanical uh, and, and unless it was a uh, Rolex Daytona or Omega Speedmaster or a, uh, a Brigade Type 20, it just wasn't any good. But this is what you want to wear if you are active in motorsports and want to have a piece around your wrist that is able to measure time that accurately with a uh, movement only deviating one tenth of a second every year and a decade later it remains an, an unprecedented achievement making such a perfect timepiece so this is, in my mind, the best 
racing chronograph ever made. Technically fulfilling, fulfilling and accomplished, most fulfilling and accomplished racing chronograph ever made. The Satina DS2 chronograph Pressy Drive. Thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.